Yeah, this is, this is a technique I love. One thing we, we found out a long time ago, when you pay somebody a compliment, a positive compliment, and you do this every 60 seconds in a conversation that lasts 10 minutes, and you've only met them for the first time, when you leave the room and they're asked to remember things about you, they recall you as taller, thinner, and younger. <laughs> when you pay them a compliment, people remember you as taller, thinner, and younger. Forget the diets, let's learn compliments. There's only three things about a person you can compliment. Let's have a look at me. There's only three things. You can compliment their appearance, something you see, their behaviour, something they did, or their possession, something that they own. Okay, now, I want you in this room, somebody give me a compliment on something you see, or something that I own, or something that I've done. Anything else? Just pick any. Tie. What about, what about the tie? Nice tie. Would you agree that's a compliment? Well, actually, it's not that good. It's, I think I only paid three bucks for this in Hong Kong. No, it's Vietnamese. It's a copy. It's cheap. A bit of rubbish, really. Now, think of this. She's attempted a compliment, and I got a big bucket of cold water and threw it over her head. This is one of the reasons we are hesitant of paying a compliment, in case we get a bucket of cold water back. That's why we're not good compliment carriers. Yet, if we do pay compliments, we're seen as taller, thinner, and younger. And that is, they're more likely to be impressed with us and want to follow our lead. So, here's number one. Don't tell anybody what you like unless you tell them why you like it. Use the word because. I like your tie because, okay? Who, who gave me the tie compliment? Okay, do it again, but tell me why you like it. I like the tie because of the colour. Oh. Oh, it's probably because it matches my eyes. Is that what it is? <laughs> now, she still left me open for dumping a bucket of water, hasn't she? When you pay a compliment, start by using a person's name. MRI scans show what clearly happens when you use a person's name. They will listen intently to the sentence that follows. So if you want to make any powerful point in your presentation, before you get to that point, use a person's name. And at the end, ask an open-ended question. Now, an open-ended question doesn't allow me to dump a bucket of cold water. It redirects the whole conversation. She, she sort of zipped in, paid the compliment and zipped out again. Now, an open-ended question is one to which you cannot say yes or no. You must give an answer. This is simple, but it's not easy. Okay, what I want you to do this time, start with my name, which means you're going to get my attention thoroughly. Tell me what you like and why you like it. Then ask me an open-ended question about me or the type. Hi, Alan, that's a beautiful orange tie. Um, I love that colour. Where did you get it? Hong Kong. <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? That was a pretty good column. That was pretty good. She said, hi, Alan. I like that orange tie. It really compliments you. and looks good. Where did you get it? Now, she hasn't given me the opportunity to say, oh, this is a bit of garbage, this is a... Uh, which means you've got no taste, you couldn't pick a good tie ever. So when someone rejects a compliment, they dump a bucket of water on you and themselves, so it has a double losing effect. Now, she said, where did you get it? That's a closed-ended question. Hong Kong. Okay, somebody asked me an open-ended question. Why did you choose that one? That's good. Well, I chose this one. In fact, thanks very much for, for commenting on the tie because I do like to spend time making sure everything matches up and getting the quality right. So I appreciate the fact you've noticed it and you've clearly got good perception taste. So thank you very much. Well, the reason I chose this tie was it goes back to when I was a kid. As a child, my father taught me that. <laughs> and this is what happens. People start to give you information. You duck in and out, you stamp the compliment, you come out again.